Yeah. Whatever yeah. happens, happens. Oh. Brought to you by Mando's Disc Golf Shop. Brought to you by Gaffey's Grove Disc Golf Club. Brought to you by Mike Hammer. And D. Thomas' quest for immortality. All right, guys, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, for coming down to Gaffney's Grove. We have once again rolled out all the stops, and we are kicking off your 2021 unsanctioned see woo woo uh, with all benefits and proceeds from the table going to Wooten and from your buy-ins going to CC's quest to defend her title at 2021 Ledgestone. Let's yeah. give everybody a big uh, round of applause for being here. <laughs> Looks like we've got 35 players in my camera, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 35 real players in my camera and one set of twins. Two sets of twins. Two sets of twins. Oh, Cameron and Brandon, what am I doing? That's two sets of twins. That is two zygotes. Four people, you figure it out. I was oh, told the there would be no man. Drawing on the same card. Oh, phenomenal. Game on! All right, so let me walk you guys through this. I, uh, Danny and I had uh, fry bread tacos with Victor, and we came up with our concepts of what we wanted to do out there. Let me give you an idea of what it is. All right, on hole one. Hole one, you must throw over the CC Woo wall. If you do not throw over the CC Woo wall, you have to throw from the wall, okay? If you hit the wall, it is a .5 stroke penalty. That was a .5 stroke. You'll figure it out. 1.5 is greater than one. 2.5 is greater than two. 3.5 is greater than three, Blaine. Oh, that's right. All right, on hole seven. Is that 1.5 or just .5? It's a .5 penalty. If you, on hole seven. Hole seven, we have input the Wooten wormhole. That's right, folks. If you choose to throw the back side of hole seven, through Wooten's wormhole, that is a negative 0.5 blame, negative 0.5. That means you're putting for 1.5. Throw, throw through Wooten's wormhole, get a negative 0.5 off of your stroke. Hole 12, we have set up two baskets for your choice. Two baskets for your choice on hole 12. But before we get into hole 12, you're probably wondering what's going on with these water balloons. Well, I'm glad you asked, Trevor. Well, because I tapped into the, your 1987 Lake Wilderness Field Day, and you have to throw hole 11 and play the entire hole with a water balloon under your non-throwing armpit. If your, water balloon, if your water balloon breaks or drops, that is a one-stroke penalty. A whole stroke? A whole stroke. One stroke penalty on hole 11. Hole 12, we have put a mini basket in the drop zone. You can choose to throw it there. That counts as an ace. Or you can go for the regular island. However, if you do not make either, there is no drop zone. You can just chalk yourself up with a four, daddy. Yeah, bogey land is where you're gonna land. So you have two choices. Mini basket in the drop zone, or you can throw a hole 12, regular. If you do not make either, that is a bogey, and you can hang your head and shamefully walk to hole 13, which is, fortunately, a CTP hole. You are probably wondering what that extra $2 you bought in for. Well, you are playing for this stack of discs. Five discs donated by some ugly mammal in Hobart. And uh, if you get the CTP on hole 13, you win this stack of discs. However, for those of you that bought the extra uh, tee-off stroke for $2, you can re-throw your drive there and there only. On hole 18, the CTP prize for hole 18 is this stack of discs. Lovely. 
It is a five pack of discs and it is cool. And there's one disc in here that's really cool. And basically for those that paid the extra dollar on hole 18, that's right folks, you paid for a kick. You've heard of throwing discs, but who can Whoa! kick the disc closest to the pin? That's my question. So the, if you get up to your throw, and you see the CTP flag is closer than your disc, that is where your kick comes in. Let me show you how this works. If the disc is on the ground, upside down, that is where you leave it. If the disc is this way, that is where you leave it. You are not to shimmy your tiny little big foot toe underneath it to flip kick. It is meant to be a soccer style kick with the disc. Everybody makes sense on that? Outstanding. Outstanding. Can you redo uh, that? Yeah, it's a soccer style. Hold on. Soccer style kick. Like that. <laughs> you don't have to do the shimmy shake, but that was the fake out the fender. Oh, he's way better than you. Oh, show off. Zygote splitter. All right, uh, any other holes? What? He's been practicing. Yeah, he's obviously been practicing. Did I forget any of the other shenanigans holes? So the CTPs are those are separate buyouts? Uh, no. No, that's part of your. It's part of your. But if you didn't buy the extra drive or the extra kick, all you have to do is throw it in or get it close to the pin, right? You still the CTP still counts. Those CTPs, everybody's in, but the people who got the kicks and the extra tees, they're most likely to win it because let's be honest, soccer talk. Thank you. All right. So, all the way any down. questions? Yes, Jared. Hole one is that uh, over the thing is a mando in the trees, or can I throw that uh, hyzer over the Savage Garden? You have to throw. Yeah, you can't throw through the Savage Garden, even though it's your favorite band. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you have to throw over the rope in between the two trees. Okay. So to answer Trevor's question, no, you cannot throw around the CC Wu wall. You have to throw over it. Over. Mr. Is anywhere you wanted at the sign? Is there yeah, just wherever, somewhere underneath the rope. That's where the drop zone goes. And then, did I did I forget anything, Danny? OBs. There's OBs on ten. OB. Oh yeah, we've reinstituted the nine ten separator. And OB on 10 all the way down to the left. So if you drive weirdly on nine and wind up in 10's fairway, that's out of bounds. And if you throw on hole 10 and end up on the right side by the island or over by the bench, you're likely out of bounds. That's completely flagged off. And uh, you have to throw um, your, your next shot um, from wherever it went out of bounds. Now, Danny, are we doing the uh, uh, roller hole? I think you're louder with that. Guy, does anybody care to have one more wacky hole? Yay. Yeah. All right, 14 is a roller only hole. The bum hole. 14 is rollers only. 14. Lefty Ryan, 14, rollers only. Sorry, that's not healthy for lefties, but whatever. <laughs> so you won't stop talking. All right, with that being said, uh, I'm going to finish with this. Uh, first off, thank you to Ox and Alex and all the volunteers that came out and helped set up the course. Thank you to Mandos for your donations. Yeah. Thank you for Disc Golf Armory for your donations and everybody else that brought something here. Thank you. This is literally what this community is about. And I guarantee you, if ever you guys are in a bad spot or down, or we will be there for you with wide open arms and wide open wallets because this community leaves with love first. And that's what this is all about. We're gonna send Cece to, to the ledge stone with lots of love. And we're gonna send Wooten, uh, Wooten's uh, butt back into battle his, what, fourth bound, fourth round with uh, chemotherapy. And uh, it's, it's this kind of stuff. It's these people here that keep him fighting while he's in there. So with that being said, if you see a disc here, Please get your butt up here and bid. Um, we'll set up PayPal if you didn't grab cash. We'll figure it out, but get your bids on these discs. These are all like super, super prized uh, discs and, and all right. Cutting straight into the action. I want you guys to notice right there the uh, completed high fives I did to the group there. That's right. Trevor and I knowing each other for many years fire off with very good, solid high fives here at Gaffney's Grove. I don't care. Hole one. You're on the card. I'm, I'm gonna try and Starting us off here with the CC Woo. Throwing over the CC Woo wall. That's right, folks. 
often duplicated, never replicated. CC Crusher, the namesake, the fundraiser, a fundraisee teeing off. Wow. Shout out to Maple Valley Parks and Rec. I'm planting that tree right there, huh, Trev? <laughs> that was an unfortunate kick. Who we have here is Logan Kling Klinger. He is a, a very strong disc golf junior for the area. And here is myself. Notice the fantastic camouflage Fisher disc golf shirt. And where do camouflage people do the best work, Trev? Hey, Mr. Mandos himself. Where did, what are you asking me? <laughs> In the trees, that's right. In the Look trees, thank you. Look at this fantastic human. What did you throw here, Trevor? I'm throwing a little flex shot. Can you explain what we're throwing over, Jared? Yeah, that is the CC Woo Wall. It was an inception of mine to make this a harder hole. Trevor, your second shot, laser so that's a focus. Bird shot. Little, the Bergonomics were a little off on that. I think I faded out to the right. Should still get the three. If you look deep into the woods, you can see there is CC Crusher. She has never been afraid of a shot like this and flawless execution. Logan is going to be an up and comer. Pay attention to that name because look at. Oh, oh he is running. Run. Let's get it. He's definitely a junior to pay attention to in the Northwest area. Good running, Crusher. What's, what's fun about me? There's nothing fun about missing, <laughs> That's why Logan just crushes them. Nice little clean up there. Yep. Okay, I'm very nervous on this putt here. Who's putting Nerf first? Blocker. Nerf blocker. I, I needed to give you a nerve blocking boost, Trev. And it was yes. successful. Yes. 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 And you see how good okay. we are at high fives. Notice. So now the start of the round, those were a little shaky high fives. So right. the nerves are still getting to me on this. Okay, we're Look trying again. That. There we go. go. That was not a seizure, folks. That was just me getting excited because I made a nine footer. It's going to be the coolest video ever. <laughs> Quite honestly, guys, uh, all of this is for a tremendous cause. Um, it was a fundraiser to send CC to Ledgestone along with raising money for one of our local disc golfers who has battling cancer and winning right now. Um, so this was a really fun tournament. Hello, Tree. Have you met my friend Logan? <laughs> Enough said there, Trevor. So we've got a bit of a stock hyzer here. Just get it up there. Oh, you almost got attacked by a fake dog. <laughs> and got shot. It's tree town right now. You wouldn't have almost gotten bit by a human dog. You'd have been fine. Human dog? Trevor almost uh, getting bit by a human dog. I'm not certain what happened there. However, notice I am lining up for a shot myself. Whoa. And through it with the incorrect trajectory, Trevor. My my physics teacher would be very upset with me. Looks like CeCe's lining up her heat. Hmm. Good shot. Weird. Oh, yeah, Crusher. Little Crusher outdrove the entire card. That happens quite a bit here at the Grove. Logan attempting the flex forehand shot. This is a really tight technical hole yeah, if you miss your line. Was that your eagle? No, that was another burger. Again, the Bergonomics are a little off right now. Still nervous. Ooh, I think that places Logan directly behind the 1987 Magnavox. Oh, there it is. Shout out to 1987 Magnavoxes. Oop, just a little bit short. Look at the focus. She doesn't ever lay up, does she, Trev? 
No, never. That was a tricky little putt Logan had there. Yeah, any any step out straddle putt for humans is tough. Not for not for aliens like Logan. He is he is putting well. Smooth as always. Trevor with the patented backpack putt. <laughs> Patent pending. We're lining up shot three here. Um, most of these are, are are shorter holes, but tight and technical. I'm lining up a, a OG Uli Raptor. And I've introduced myself to that tree once or twice before, Trevor. We have attempted yeah. to break up, but it's a, it's a, a bad relationship. Fortunately, I have rescue itis. Where did you learn your Bergonomics, Trev? The the Bergonomics is very strange. Um, I love that disc because it's it's from Sweden. So the way it the uh, social safety nets of Sweden interacting with the the you know free market capitalism of American air it's, it gives it some strange extra glide to the disc. Thank you. I I knew there was science behind it. Seeing as you can see, American putters they just don't fly straight. Wow! Look at this friendship golf going on. This friendship golf <laughs> is it's where you purposely miss putts because your buddies do, so they don't feel bad. <laughs> You guys are really nice. Logan and CC have played up. Yeah, rough start. Considering you and I have literally birdied every single hole on this course, a uh, little bit of a tough start, but nothing like a tracker right into a tree to make you feel good about yourself. Friendship golf. 18 holes. <laughs> Reminding myself there's a lot more golf left. CC feeling bad for me. She felt like, okay, I'm gonna hit a tree too. Jared's cool. Cool kids are doing it. I want to be cool. Peer pressure. Logan. Yeah. Logan lining up the forehand. That's a go. pretty good shot on that uh, Heiser type hole. What are you throwing here, Trevor? I'm throwing something very overstable, trying to saw it off, and I hit Jared's tree. Majestic swans in flight. I said majestic swans in flight, but ultimately what you needed there was a flying chainsaw to get that tree cut down. However, you do go with a very unorthodox roller. Yeah, that one turned out all right. Once again, my rescue nomics. Way to get creative. Um, it's coming in handy. We are in the fairway. Keep in mind, folks, this is a 220. Did you see that, Trevor? <laughs> Did you see that? Somebody poured Miracle Grow on that little stump and it regrew a tree right in front of CC right after she threw. I swear it. Let's see if she can get this. Got it. Oh! Funny thing is about her, she gets angry she gets more aggressive in in how she runs the basket she she gets more competitive it's phenomenal now had I, not, you got there. had I not grown up as a christmas tree farmer that might have made me uncomfortable <laughs> shout out to three tree farms it looks like logan is throwing through the oh. the clinger vortex and I'm not certain it picked up his radius. Trevor, are you putting from Norwegia? Yes, well, I don't even know where I'm at in this. I can barely see me in this. For Sweden. No, I said Sweden. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was off a country. And I've got a tester. Oh. Yeah. Was that a reco? 
That was a reco. And I, I, Did you been, see that? That was her psych out season. move. CC was psyching out Logan. Logan had no idea it was coming and completely oh. mentally melted his, his brain. And CC thinks it's funny. <laughs> Trevor, well, doing finally. it for the Reco Roman wrestlers out there. <laughs> I got so rattled. Let's get it, Drew. Let's get it, Drew. I don't want to rattle him. All right, Logan taking a deep breath, recollecting his life, thoughts, and putts. Did you see that? Did you see the focus? Little bag on. That. Little... Yeah. I so, Drew, what's your thoughts you. going through this? We went through the probably the most difficult uh, holes of the course. What are your thoughts on this tee box here? At this point, I'm like, oh, yes, birdie row. And that's what I was thinking. Finally, we get to some some pretty cakewalk birdie shots. 201, dog leg right. Like, as long as you just throw it straight, you're going to be all right, right? We're, at this point, we're both feeling pretty confident. We're going to run it down, right, at this point? At this point, yes. I'm going for the low the skip shot. Skip. And is that... not far enough. Oh, man. Is that disappointing when you throw a perfect laser skip and it just doesn't get there? Yes. Okay. See, folks, it's not just you. All of us get disappointed. Logan with that forehand again. Bit of a tester. Trevor, going with the reco again? Once again, oh boy. CC. Laser putt up. Looks like she hits an early tree. I'm lining up. And I catch oh, it. Oh, what a putt. Shout out to Fisher Disc Golf. Look at that. Shout out to my mom, Carol. <laughs> And Logan is not to be denied. He's like, I got your big putt, pal. And Trevor's like, Reco Rum and wrestlers unite. And CC. So Jared, next hole, I believe we're coming up on your first ace hole in competition. That's correct. This is the, my very first ace. It is a. 221 foot laser beam and I threw something similar just a little less stable and uh, got it to stick but I'm right within putting distance right there I yeah, mean no, all you have to do is I'm guessing yeah all you have to do is get it down there close to the basket it's not a difficult hole you just got to throw it clean Ooh, you almost kissed off and and if you do hit that tree you have to kiss it yeah, that's right Trev you have to kiss a tree <laughs> Oh, and that is turned over. Unfortunately, that not good. that's the that's the problem, right? It's it's just long enough to where you will turn over a putter, you will turn over a slower speed disc, trying to pump it the distance. CC goes backhand. She don't play. And throws a laser beam. Had it been in a foot higher, that might have gone in. Yes, we are in trouble here. I'm, I think I'm trying to run this. There's a bit of a backstop here. Yeah. Like, and... Rightfully so. That is bird life for you. Logan runs everything. I mean, honestly, he's a good putter. But not to be outdone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where did you learn such a great power stance, Trevor? There you go, Trevor. The power stance, you know, you got to stick wide. I think it was back in, uh, I think it was Higa in junior high wrestling. Told me to get a real wide base. Yeah. Notice that I also wrestled and I have a wide base as well. So shout out to Mr. Higa for teaching us life lessons that stick. Tell the folks what your uh, finishing move is, Jared. Uh, I like to go with the... Uh, Underutilized Hadouken. 
It's it's used in Street Fighter, but also in seventh grade I try to utilize it. Unfortunately, what I found, Trevor, is that um, it's imaginary and that wrestlers just run right through it and pin you. Yeah, not a legal move either. So now we've got uh, yeah. one. Want to set this one up, Jared? That that little hoop. Yeah, we have a hula hoop hanging in the middle of the trees that we named the CC Woo Zoom to. It doesn't count as a full stroke. So if you were able to throw a backhand through that right side gap uh, into the hula hoop circle, that's a CC Woo Zoom tube. That's a, that actually takes a half stroke off. Since this is a fundraiser, we wanted to put the fun in it. I'm throwing a prayer here, and it looks like it was not answered. Wooden's wormhole. Wooden's wormhole. Usually the shot is the forehand to the left, isn't it? It is, but you know, with that with that loop, that hoop, you got to go through it. Right. Logan doesn't care. He's going for an ace. He just overshoots. He's like, I'll go for the score. Yeah. He he didn't he did not bite on the bait. That is the Wooten yeah, Woo Zoom to. Uh, Where's no, Wooten's no, 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 wormhole? Uh, probably sixty. I was no, I was gonna say one uh, three hundred twenty-seven north by uh, one eighty. As you can see, Trevor has asked asked for correct coordinates, GPS coordinates, and I made up numbers, and that's <laughs> had I not see. You, you caught me on the longitude, Trevor. That is my fault. I, I'm i sorry. You should have gotten 0.75 for that stroke. I should have gotten that. I, I think I was pretty close to that. I did line up a skeeter, but your longitude was slightly off. Yep. Get through it. Get through and that's normally the way she goes anyway, so that's kind of why we set it up over there. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, it makes so. sense. I couldn't really tell. Through it for Ask the cameraman. He has zoom in. And then they're asking everybody what the scoring mechanism works with the point five, and that once again, I had to remind them it's for fun. I just missed it. I was about to shout out my dad there, but he's just out of luck. Oh. And Logan. Continue to tickle the chains all day. There's a good putt. Yeah, focused. She sees like top. What is she? Top ten in the in the world? In America? I can't remember. She's a very highly rated junior player. Nice birdie. You finally picked up a two, Trevor. You're finally starting to feel good about two. yourself. Feeling good, but you know, looking back, I am still nervous on my high fives. I had, we got up, the round started with some good high fives, got a little right. shaky after a whole one. It's so that's, it's only that's we had a mind reason mind. to have a high five, right? Like, we really we're playing mediocre golf. We're lining up, eight's an island hole, and Trevor tries to throw it. Keep going. Understable okay. eagle to the island and just yeah. Jared? Yeah. Okay. And then and then there's this. I mean, CC, she's lining it up, Trevor, and 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 you're feeling nervous about your high fives. What are your thoughts right about now? This is a great heat shot for her. We'll see how it goes. Get in. Oh! I pick up CC. I'm super excited. Then I realized as I looked to her parent, I have your child in the air. I should put you down. <laughs> and then Trevor. With, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, no high five. You got denied on the high five by the mother's love. Had it been anything else but the mother's love, you almost would be offended. And then off camera, you're able to receive your much powerful high five and i throw a tracker but who cares right like i didn't throw by the way excellent work by justin banks that is cc's first ever ace right there on camera yes phenomenal job and it's her fundraiser right it's her fundraiser and she, nobody outworks this young lady. It's amazing. You'll see her and her dad out there two, three times at different courses throughout the week, throwing shots, throwing lines. And when I tell you we were all excited, the whole community got excited for this one. 
right? Oh, yeah. I remember uh, immediately, I think you told me to run up there to make sure the thing was in because we could. We didn't want to break it to her if it was not in. She's gone through many. We, Trevor and I had come up with a plan that if somehow it fell out, we were going to sneak up there and put it back in because we weren't going to cheat that moment after she started crying, right? Um, however, we didn't have to because she's that dang good. Trevor. And then Shout out to Miss Holloway for your seventh and sixth grade photography lessons because you were there putting it to work right there, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, you really got to get that emotion on that disc golf course, especially with yeah. Cece. She's so full of emotions. Yeah, just emotional. And there's another birdie. I get emotional, but, you know, I don't, you know, I don't care after that. That ace is just pure magic. Logan bangs a putt. Trevor steps up. Logan just big putted you. How are you feeling right here? Oh, oh there we a little, go. A little nervous, but you overcame it. I'm real proud of you. Way to, way to persevere. This yeah, is the longest hole long. on the course. Hole nine. Evidently, my drive didn't go that well, and neither did yours, Trevor. Yeah, thank you, Banks, for not getting those on film. Yes, our pride appreciates it. There is a Mando on the right hand side that you have to be aware of. So the shot is just a pure 400 foot drive that easily banks left at the end. And this is the least likely birdie. Oh my gosh. I'm just happy I was there to see And this is the first time um, the mom has seen an ace that CC's thrown, so that was really special. Discraft after this video. That's, that's my CC. Shout out Discraft. And the composure continues. That's the beauty of it. You just get a big ace, a big shot. You're up there for par putt. You don't want to give it back, right? So you bang the putt. CC is yeah. ice, ice in her veins. And, and Logan, from deep in the jungle, brought to you by Miracle Grow. Shout out to Logan. <laughs> Clinger on that one. I had a bogey. There it is. I, yeah, sure. I think we both struggle on this one. I'm nervous about this score. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's double a double bogey. bogey. Yeah, there's OB on that right side. Both holes are lined OB on this, uh, this little fundraiser tournament. Yep, absolutely. We'll see you in part two.